Hey guys, Twiggy the Frog here for a, uh, well, I've got to call it kind of a short surprise episode. <sighs> well, it happened. One of our worst fears, Notch and Mojang have sold Minecraft to Microsoft. Um, I've actually had a couple of my friends call me today and go, hey man, did you hear the news? Because, you know, I have friends that play this just like anybody else does. Ooh, Derby is getting low. Um, and I was like, yeah, you know, I saw a tweet on it. Um, and they asked me, you know, what? how do you feel about it? And I'm like, Ugh, you know, I am, I am a Microsoft fan and enemy at the same time. Um, it's kind of one of those, do I like Microsoft? Do I hate them? I kind of love and hate them. Um, what do I think this is going to mean for the future of Minecraft? God, if I could only really truly know, it would be great. I really hope that they keep it exactly the same. That's what they have sworn to do. Where you at, you little sucker? Um, but Microsoft has a bad habit of nickel and diming you for every penny you have. So, what does that mean? Um, I'm worried, personally, that Minecraft, even though it was told we would never, ever have to pay for an expansion, um, well, the company that promised that is no longer the company who owns the system so they can't exactly uh, promise that anymore will minecraft charge for updates i think they probably will uh, it's just my personal opinion um it's not like minecraft or microsoft to give away anything for free you know that was one of the things that drew me to minecraft i was like wow these guys you know they like the community and the game so much that they are willing to give away their product after your initial purchase for free. Wow. So what's next? Uh, let's look at most of the stuff that Microsoft puts out. I mean, they offer you free expansions with a premium package. So does that mean that's what we're going to get for Minecraft? I would say, yeah, you're probably going to see that. I, I'm hoping I'm wrong, but I don't think I am, guys. I think if you want to get free updates, you're probably going to need to uh, purchase some sort of a premium pack. Hopefully, if you do, it won't be expensive. A lot of their premium packs are, to me, ridiculously overpriced. Um, I play Battlefield 4 on an Xbox. Um, I am a premium member. However, I can tell you right now, it is it is highly overpriced, the premium membership. Um, I also have it on my uh, computer, Battlefield, that is. So don't, don't ask, though. I will not stream it. I am not good enough. Um, or I will not record it. I'm just not good enough guys. I'm sorry, but yeah, I know people may want to see it Probably shouldn't even mention it, but you know, I just want to prove a point, you know games on PC are usually relatively cheaper However, Microsoft like I said, they're, they're just not into giving stuff away You know, it's just not their style, you know, they're not like Mojang um, So how much did Mojang make? Wow 2.5 billion with a B not an M B billion dollars yeah so I mean you know you can't really blame Notch he has complained a lot that he is tired of all the negative press they get every time they release something if there's anything messed up people just hate mail him to death and he just he takes it very personal you know he doesn't like it and uh, so a lot of that is part of the reason why he sold so <laughs> if you were one of the people that did that well shame on you um, personally, I don't do that, you know, expansions, you know, things are going to be broken sometimes and, you know, the team over at Mojang was always quick to work on and try to fix anything that was messed up. Um, so yeah, I'm going to miss them. I'm hoping, hoping that they keep a lot of the same programmers. I don't know what kind of money those guys made, what kind of partnerships they had going on, but I'm pretty sure people like Dinnerbone and stuff were probably partial owners of the company. So, you know, we probably, man. It's just, it's kind of a sad day, you know, for me at least. This is a game that I thoroughly enjoy playing. Um, I like the aspect that we can pretty much do whatever we want. Um, a lot of people in like the modded community are worried that they are not going to, they're going to try to do something to block their mods or cause things. Um, I know a lot of the people in the YouTube community have speculated that, well, will my, Microsoft continue to let us uh, post videos about Minecraft for free. You know, or they're gonna ask us for money. 
or are they going to say we have to pay some sort of a license agreement or if you want to buy it you have to you know be a premium member or something crazy like that who knows um, I think part of what the popularity draws people to Minecraft is a lot of the freedom aspects the freedom to build or the freedom to get updates whenever wanted um, the freedom to jump back and forth between I mean I love that you know if you've ever used Windows guys you know once you update that's it you can't ever go back Minecraft's not like that. I mean, I could go back into Minecraft when it still had the Far Lands in it if I want and travel to the Far Lands. Um, you know, there's a thousand things you can do on Minecraft that you couldn't do on a lot of other stuff. Let's see, that's 30 levels. We want to get 33. We're going to do some enchanting in this episode, hopefully. So, yeah, I mean, guys, I I'm asking you, what do you think is going to happen? I mean, let's be nice. Don't bash on Microsoft too much because they now control the game that we love. Um... I'm hoping I am incorrect. I'm hoping they stick with the spirit of Minecraft, which was a community-based, basically a super game, in my opinion, that allowed players to, that is a long way, to kind of adventure out and do kind of what they wanted to. You know, they there was a statement released today by the publicist, publicist for Mojang stating that Minecraft would be continue to be the same, that you would continue to be able to get it on multiple platforms, but... uh you know, Microsoft, Xbox, and uh, PlayStation have been competitors for quite a long time. So, what's that mean for you PS4 players out there? Uh, man, <laughs> doom and gloom is all I could think it means. I just don't see Microsoft giving Sony uh, free reign over this game like they kind of have now. Uh, 4J Studios, if you guys don't know, are the ones who make the uh, the port for Minecraft for Xbox, Xbox 360, uh, Xbox One, Pocket Edition. I think they make the Pocket Edition. I'm not sure. Uh, but I know for all the gaming platforms, they make the port for the game. And a port is basically um, the programmers turn over the game programming to a third party. And that third party is tasked to create a game that will run on the platform and that's all a ported game is if you've ever seen a game that's been out on PC for a really really long time and then all of a sudden you can play it on uh, any of the consoles it is a port game it's that simple and we're gonna have to repair our work pick that sucks I may just enchant another pick and if you guys watched the last episode which I hope you did if you didn't check out my channel and subscribe of course you would see that we got a ton of diamonds, so I don't know what I want to make first. I've already got a pair of boots made, but do I want to waste an enchant on a pair of boots? Um, you know, feather falling would be nice, but it's not necessarily a necessity. I'm trying not to wander too far because I have a tendency when I'm in the nether to get lost. So I'm trying not to wander too, too far. Whoa, that's a long way. Too, too far away from... Uh, the safety of our little hole there that takes us into the portal so yeah I mean guys that's that's kind of my opinion on where I think it's gonna go I hope I'm wrong but Microsoft is just not the kind of corporation that well for lack of better words they're just not the kind of corporation that gives a crap about the people who buy their products they are notorious for putting out bad products let's face it if you're old enough to remember things like oh I don't know Windows Millennium that was a horrible product and then the best product that they ever had Windows 98 second edition they decided that they were just gonna quit supporting it hey you know this works better than any Windows version we've ever had before yeah we're not gonna support it anymore you guys are screwed you're gonna have to update it's strong arm tactics like that that Microsoft has always used to dominate the market you know signing in deals with uh, companies like Dell gateway things like that where you know that's the operating system you get whether you want it or not, you know, it's just the one you get. Um, there are other operating systems out there, however, they're not nearly as user friendly as uh, Windows. You know, Grandma can't pick up the uh, mouse and use a lot of those programs. And that's the kind of stuff that draws people and companies to Microsoft. Not in the fact that they're just a mega company that have more cash than they know what to do with. So, yeah. So, will updates be free? That was the one thing. That and being able to put product on YouTube. I'm not a big YouTuber. I'm, you know, this is not anything I do to make a, a large amount of money. 
Um, honestly, guys, I have never even received a check yet. I haven't made enough money to receive one. Um, so, you know, I'm not doing this for money. You know, I'm on about my 80th video, and I basically just do it because every time I get a comment, someone says, great video, keep it up. That motivates me to continue to go for the next month, you know, and then it never fails. I'll be dragging along, and I'm thinking, uh, you know, nobody's watching my videos, maybe five, six views a video, ten views, and then I'll get a, I'll get a comment from a subscriber that says, hey, man, great video, keep up the good work. And, man, that's all it takes for me. I'm hooked again. I'm like, you know what? I'm doing this. So where? Aha. <laughs> Because we got to level 33. With level 33, we'll be able to enchant two things. So let's go do that, you know, in this little bonus episode I'm going to throw out here. Because I wanted to ask you guys that question about the Microsoft thing. Um, you're going to get to see some enchanting. Shut up, pig man. There we go. Ooh, that was complicated. So let's get back to base. But guys, in the comments, now I don't want to start a war or a, a, a bashing session on Mojang. I mean, let's face it, guys. You can't blame Notch. They offered him $2.5 billion for a company that grossed roughly $326 million last year. So here he's got a company that's making money hand over fist. And then some huge Uber corporation like Microsoft comes along and says, Hey, you know what? We, we want to buy your company. And we're going to give you so much freaking money for it that you would have to be mentally challenged to say no. I mean, he would have had to have been crazy. Just nuts. I, I, I can't think of all, what I would do for that much money. You know? <laughs> what wouldn't I do? You know? That kind of thing. You know? It's like, hey, how, am I, how good are my morals? Where, oh, where did I put that quartz? There it is. Boom, boom. And with that, I can actually make another block. There we go. Yeah, we got quite a bit of quartz. Wow. Okay, so let's go and do this. Ah, stop it. This chest, let's grab our diamonds. I am going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And, oh, man, I want to do a sword, but at the same time, my pick is about to fall apart. One, two, three. We'll see what they offer us with a pick. You know, it never hurts to have diamond picks. So, we're going to try to do a chest plate. And if not a chest plate, we got our boots available. So, there's a chest plate. Like I said, it never hurts to have another pick. Never, never, never. Um, let me grab those just in case. Because, who knows, I may see feather falling on the thing. So, wish us luck. Here we go. Let's try the pick first. Oh, you know what? Before we do that, we need to grab some lapis. Uh, should be here? No, here. <laughs> uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, if push comes to shove and we get crappy all around, then we'll just repair the picks we have. All right, so here we go. Let's start with the chest plate. And boom. Thorns. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Is it the same thing for the boots? Unbreaking, not bad. Uh, fortune three. I can't. I can't turn down a fortune three enchant. I just can't. Oh, look at that beast of a pick. That is awesome. So this should change now. Unbreaking three. Deep Strider. Oh. You know that's actually a very common enchant. It's like a one in four chance to get that enchant. So it's 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 cool to see. But at the same time, it's just like, eh, you know. Oh, man. Oh, I wish you could change it by doing that. See, this is just it's not a very good work pick. <laughs> not the best fortune pick. Um. So I got I got a fantastic fortune pick. You know what? <sighs> I hate to do it, but oh wait, I think I can actually test it out on this one. Efficiency four. Ooh, see, I need to do that. You know what, guys? I know people are probably screaming, going, "Are you crazy?" Yes, I'm crazy. This will be a repair pick eventually. I am going to do another pickaxe. Cause let's face it, this is Minecraft, and without pickaxes, well, what do you got? Nothing. Whoops. You got nothing. You gotta have pickaxes. 
Gotta have good pickaxes. Efficiency 4. I'm hoping I get an efficiency 4 on breaking 3 pick. If I do, I will be ecstatic. Still says efficiency. Oh, a silk touch pick. Oh, man. I wish I could get that with unbreaking. So, okay. We got silk touch. We got that. Let's... How many levels? We got 27 levels. So let's try and... Grab some of that. Just do some repairs. Um, or do I want to... Can I do that? I have an Unbreaking 3 book over here. It's kind of one of those things, you know. I just don't know what those other... I think those other protections just either will not show up or just won't do anything. Um, they don't count, basically. So, okay, we have Silk Touch. We have that. We need that efficiency for and unbreaking. It costs three. Yes, it adds unbreaking three. It costs nothing to do it that way. So we are going to we're gonna do it only costs three to do it right there. So how much does it cost to? It costs two, but see that doesn't fix me all the way. One, two, three. Uh, that takes it up to 13, 14, that takes it up to 6 something, so if I do that, and then 1, 2, it just about repairs at 100%. I don't want to waste a diamond and screw myself out of the diamond, like that, and then we're going to do that to add unbreaking to it. And now we have a beast of a work pick. If we could get five, it would be nice, but I'm not going to push it. Oh, see, I could throw these two together since I did get another great fortune pick. Let's see how much that costs. And that should give us unbreaking five. What if we switch them? Um, 20. Our efficiency five. We need 20, so we need 16 more levels. That's actually not that hard to get. So... Will that repair all the way when I do that? It should. Yes, it does. All right, so easy enough. I mean, I could just go mine some more stuff in the nether, but I'm going to cut this here. Like I said, this is not going to be a super long episode. This is going to be kind of a bonus episode that I throw on top of the episode of Crash Landing that will also be dropping. Um, as you can see, I did some work on the, the place, started to tear it down. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much it, guys. So yeah, in the comments. Oh, look at that. Villager spawner kicking off good, man. We are making villagers. We are up to six in here, including two priests. Uh, I don't know what he'll be. Uh, butcher times two and one. Is that a librarian? Yeah, a librarian. So yeah, that's working out good. Probably next episode, we're going to work on trying to filter them out. Maybe the design for the actual villager holding cells. Um, they have to be on the same level as the village. They can be here or lower. They, however, cannot be any higher. If they are, it will screw this up. If you plant a villager even one higher than that is, you'll completely destroy all the spawning. It will stop spawning altogether. So guys, as usual, please leave a like, subscribe, share us with your friends, and I want to see those comments about what you think about the acquisition of Mojang by Microsoft. And as always, God bless.